Hello, great minds. Welcome everyone to the channel. Today we are doing the today is a third recording. Uh, I mean, this video is a third recording for the NLNG graduate trainee aptitude test. So, in other words, if you're just seeing this video, we have two other ones that, that has been uploaded. We have the first one and we have the second one. So, this is the third one. So, for those of us who are just seeing this video for the first time, you can quickly go back and check the, the other two videos that were uploaded. It's going to be very helpful. So, guys, um, like I said, a lot of you have asked me um, um, how about my application. Yeah, I did apply for the NLNG, but I didn't qualify to write for the aptitude test. I did not qualify. But it's all good. If you've qualified, then I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy about it, okay? So, guys, I'm rooting for you guys big time. I'm rooting for you guys. Don't, don't, uh, don't give up. Don't um, see it as other tests. Give it your best, and I'm sure you're going to do great. A lot of my students, I think um, the NNPC graduate trainee, some of my students got the job, just few of them. I can't even tell how many number they are, but one of them reached out to me. So one of them reached out to me, he got the job and like that. So I'm sure you might be the person here that's going to get the, NN, that's going to get the NLNG job. Not just one person. I mean, many of you are going to get the job. Of course, you know, I'm just coming back from church today. So uh, you don't take it lightly, okay? So guys, I'm rooting for you guys big time. I've prayed, I've prayed, seriously. So uh, yeah, just to inform you again, we have a closed WhatsApp group, okay? If you want to join uh, other persons that are preparing for the same exam, just like you are, you can join the WhatsApp group. You get to... Um, you get to hear from other people's experience, possibly the matter of taking the test before, or maybe they will take the test before your own test day. So somehow, somehow they might come on board to share their experience. You will learn from their experience before you go for your test. And again, if you want to reach out uh, with, to me with your questions, you need answer, you need my time. Of course, you know, you just have to join the WhatsApp group. It's just 2000 error. Just pay some of 2000 error. Uh, to this account and send your screenshot to my number. This is my number. Please, it's only WhatsApp. It's only WhatsApp. Uh, 091. Yeah, so it's only WhatsApp. In case you want to call me, WhatsApp call only, please. WhatsApp call only. So, guys, um, that is for the group. If you are, if you cannot afford the 2000 no problem. We're still going to be uploading video on the channel. So, um, but if you can afford it and even more, why pay less? Guys, why pay less? So um, let me also inform you, today's video, we're going to be doing something very, very unique. I mean, if you don't have your writing materials now, just go get your writing materials real quick because in today's class, we are going to be discussing something, something very, very important. Yes. All right. So let us get to work. Of course, let's see how we can solve this problem. Maybe you've left math for a very long time. You've got no problem. Just follow up what we are doing on this channel. You're going to improve. I mean, most of these questions are quite easy. You're going to improve. So don't give up. You can do it. And if you want me to do other videos, you can still reach out to me on my WhatsApp and we'll think about it together. So guys, let's get to work. All right. So um, real quick, I think we've solved those questions in the previous video. So we are going to be starting from here. Let me confirm. All right, so we're going to start from this particular question. This will be our question one for this particular video. This will be our question one. So let us get started. Now, looking at the chart, most of the problems you're going to see, they are all chart problems. So that's why I take my time to explain the chart for you so that when you see questions in that um, contest, you'll be, able to, you'll be able to understand it and then solve it. It's not about solving the problem, it's about understanding the problem. So that is why I take my time to explain the chart before we start solving the problem, right? So let me explain this chart. So this we have this chart here, and the title of this chart is Conservation Trip, List of Sightings. Conservation Trip, List of Sightings. So we have different days, day one, day two, and up to day five. And we have common beds. I feel this is could this could be like a zoo. Maybe you went out for a zoo, you're taking record of the the sightings of bed you saw mm -hmm. so you when you the common bed the, the numbers of common bed they saw on day one is just 25 the numbers of rare bed they saw on day one is three the numbers of water bed they saw on day one is 12 like that the numbers of common bed they saw on day four is 29 i think by now you understand the chart and this year is the total number of common bed they saw throughout the day one to day five and all of this year are the total for 
from the one to the five. So having understood that part, I think we can now solve the problem. Now the question is saying, approximately what proportion of the total number of water beds? Now we're talking about water beds. So these are point of interest. Forget about every other bed. Stay with me on water bed alone. <clears throat> Sorry. Approximately what proportion of the total number of water bed? When they say proportion, it is something upon another thing. Like usually something what you're interested in over the total. So please take note over the total. So when you see proportion, is that thing you're looking at at that point over the total of that thing? You're going to understand it more. So it says approximately what proportion of the total number of water beds cited we are seeing before the five. So these are the numbers of uh, water bed we saw before the five. When you sum all these guys up, um, that is 12 plus 34. <clears throat> that will give me uh, 46, 46 plus five, that will give me 51. So we saw 51 water beds before day five, right? So what is the total number of water bed we saw? The total, the total is 67. So that is 51, well, 67. Now you understand what I mean by something upon something. So our interest is the ones we saw before day five. They are 51 altogether. And what's the total number of water bed we saw? They are 67. Check it out. That is how to go about it. The next thing you want to do from here, you divide. 51 divided by 67. Let me quickly put on my calculator um, quickly. 51 divided by 67. That is 0 0.007 uh, like that. But now if you look at this question, all the answers are in percentage. So you need, it means that you need to convert your answer to percentage. And how do you do it? You just multiply your result by 100%. So when you do that, multiply it by 100%, um, that is going to give us times 100 that's going to give us, uh, I think I have missed something in my calculation. Please, one minute. Uh, one minute, please. I think I missed something in my calculation. Uh, I have 51 divided by 67. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I did it well now. Then times 100%. So I, I got 76.119 and so on percent. But it said approximately. So when you approximate all this guy, of course, you know you're going to get 76%, right? That's the approximate value. That's option um, D. No, no, option E. Sorry, option E. So this is option E. So it's clear, right? Like I said, like I said, if this is clear, just tell me in the comment section question one is clear. Because I used to go through the chat and I'll respond to the questions that is not clear. I'm going to still talk about it again. That is why um, we are going to help you that much. So let's go to the next question. That will be our question two. <clears throat> So we have question two here. This is a different chart. So what do we do? We first of all explain the chart before we start solving the problem, right? Question two. Now, if you look at the chart, every chart must have a title. What's the title of this chart? KPS Retail Outlet. Now, weekly sales by location. So this is the location right here. We have the Metropolitan. We have the shopping mall. So these are the locations. And these are the sales. When the sales under $50,000, for Metropolitan, we have 3,216 3, sales that are that we are under $50,000. Uh, then the sales we had that is from $50,000 to $99,999 for Metropolitan is this. So these are the numbers of sales we have for this range, for this range of money here. So the number of sales we have uh, for the for $200,000 and above for Metropolitan is four. 74 for shopping mall it is 1107 so here is the total for the metropolitan and here's the total for the shopping mall mm -hmm. yeah then the next thing here this is the total for the ones for the uh, metropolitan and shopping mall which we are under fifty thousand dollars this is the total for the uh, for metropolitan and shopping mall that we are between fifty thousand dollars and ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars do you understand the old chart now? So once you understand the chart, then solving the problem will not be a problem. So let us solve this problem. This is question two. It says, what is the approximate percent? What is the approximate percentage of weekly sales under 100,000? Oh, um, you can see uh, they just took the, the, they just took the power. Huh? It's all good. It's all good. Um, let's continue. 
So now this question is asking, what is the approximate percentage of total weekly sales under hundred thousand dollars? Hmm? Now, which were which are the, which ones are on or are under hundred thousand dollars? These are the ones that are on, under hundred thousand dollars. These ones here, they are the ones under hundred thousand dollars, right? So we are looking at the approximate percentage of the total weekly sales. Total. Now we're looking at the total. What is the total weekly sales? The total weekly sales, they, they were not specific. What are they talking about? If you're talking about the total weekly sales for Metropolitan, this is what it is here. Total weekly sales for shopping mall, this is what it is here. But did they tell you anyone? No. They just say, what is the approximate percentage of total weekly sales? So the total weekly sales is no other stuff but this one, right? That is the total weekly sales. We have 12,638. And then we are in the in the sales under hundred thousand dollars, right? These are the ones under hundred thousand dollars. Now I have just marked the point of interest right now. So how do we now begin to solve this problem? Whenever I hear percentage or whenever I hear uh what's the other one they use again? Uh percentage or um I think the other one I discussed in the last is just something over another thing. It's usually your point of interest over the total. So now in this case, what's our total? Total is 12,638. All over now the, the sales that are under $100,000. These are the sales under $100,000. So we just need to add this total and this total here, right? Okay, it's just like adding all of these guys. That is what it is. But we, for, for simplicity, you add this guy. And you add this guy that gives you the total of everybody here i don't know if it makes sense so quickly let me bring out my calculator let me add up those guys so i add up this one this is like three four seven four plus three one five nine so let's add them up and divide by that number so we have three four seven four three four seven four plus three one five nine three one five nine yeah, we've got an answer. Then divided by 12,638. So we have 12,638, right? And that will give me 0 0.5248. Uh, so those of you who are doing it with me, I think you can um, you can um, resonate with what I'm saying here. So when you, you see the answers are in percentage, I told you when you see your answer in percentage, you just have to multiply your answer by 100%. Just multiply your, by, your answer by 100 and put the percent to it. So right now, I want to multiply this my answer by 100 and I'll put the percent to it times 100. That will give me 52.48%. Uh, uh, so approximately, what would this be? It's just 52%, right? So that is our answer right there. All right, so let's go to the next question. Um, I feel like she's talking about this problem again because this is the second one and it looks as if we've done a lot of things, which is very simple. Let me explain it again. It says, what is the approximate percentage of total weekly sales? What is the total weekly sales? The total weekly sales here is 12,000. This is total weekly sales. If they had said total weekly sales of Metropolitan, this is what it is here. If they say total weekly sales for shopping mall, this is what it is here. But when they say total weekly sales, so it's like the combination of the two locations, which is 12,638. That's why we have this number here. Now, what are you going to be dividing this number by? Is the other question that the other part that says, what is the opposite percentage of the total weekly sales under $100,000? These are the ones under $100,000 from year to year. So you sum them up and you divide by this. Shaking now, that's how to go about the problem. So I think that is clear. Now we want to go to the next question. This is question three. Uh, I don't want the video to be too long. Um, yeah, I don't want the video to be too long. So yeah, so let's do this one. Let's do this one. I think this is the question three. And let's do this one. So question three now. Let's start with this one. So this is question three. It says, this is another chart. Okay, the same chart, no problem. It says, what is the approximate ratio of malls to total outlet? So this is like malls to total outlet. Okay, that is how to write ratio. Ratio, this is symbol for ratio. Eh? Malls to total outlet, right? What is the approximate ratio of malls to total outlet. What's the total outlet? 
these are the outlet all these people here and the total outlet is 12,000 uh 12,638 right that's the total outlet then what is the total uh malls the malls here is this one you know this is for malls or shopping malls that is 31 0163. So the ratio, you don't want to start doing some kind of division. I can see that this is 3,000 and this is 12,000. This is like 1 is to 4, approximately. Huh? This is 3,163 and this is 12,000. This is like 4 times of this. So that is why we say 1 is to 4. I don't know if you understand. Like, I see if you divide here by 3,000, divided by 3,000, you get that uh, lowest fraction, 1 is to 4. Does it make sense? Let me show you something very quick. Let's say I have maybe 50 here and I have ratio, let's say 150 here. This is one is to three. As if to say you divide by 50, you divide by 50, and here you get one, and here you get three. But you know this number, if I start dividing it, will give me decimals, right? So I just, they say approximately, so you can just do this stuff without doing that division, okay? So that is the answer for this particular question. Yeah, that's the answer for this particular question. So guys, I think we are going to be stopping here because uh, I don't want the video to be too long. And uh, the next video, we're going to be talking about uh, this particular problem. Like I said, I told you, I was thinking I would have the time to explain all of those stuff here. So this is a different chart. And this is the part that I feel you might get questions from because it's very technical. So I'm, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem in the next video, okay? So uh, thank you for watching. I wish you all the best and as you prepare for the aptitude test, make sure you give it your best. And of course, I wish you guys all the best. Thanks for watching and God bless you. Please make sure you try and share this video to other people, to other social medias and God bless you for that. Bye-bye.